we are very honored to welcome Texas Secretary of State Rolando B. Pablos to give special remarks. He was appointed by Governor Greg Abbott as the 111th Texas Secretary of State on January 5, 2017. As a state official and in his private practice, he has played critical roles in the advancement of direct investment, international relations, and trade with Texas partners across the globe, including Japan. We gratefully, uh, greatly appreciate his support and the support of the state of Texas in helping make this event a wonderful success. Please join me in welcoming Secretary Pablos. Well, good afternoon. Welcome everyone to the first ever Japan-Texas Economic Summit. As Texas Secretary of State, it brings me great pride to host so many distinguished business and community leaders from across Texas and across the world. I'm honored to be here sharing in this excellent opportunity to bring Texas and Japan even closer to each other. I'd like to thank Mayor Turner and the City of Houston for hosting this summit, as well as the Greater Houston Partnership, and to all of you, participating in this very important and historic event and to the sponsors and presenters. Thank you for your support. I'd like to ask for a round of applause, especially for our sponsors, please. I would also like to thank and congratulate the U.S. Japan Council for convening this week's summit. The hard work and dedication in planning, coordinating, and executing this event has truly paid off. We are so proud that Texas is home to one of the first regional economic summits held by the Council. It shows how important Japan's relationship is with Texas, as well as the enormous growth potential we see in the years ahead. Yesterday, at the Capitol in Austin, Governor Abbott and I had the distinct honor of meeting with Governor Omura and as well as the Kadon Ren leadership. We had excellent conversations with a very distinct focus of elevating our cooperation and collaboration for the benefit of our long-term relationship. Governor Omura, thank you for all you are doing to strengthen IT's partnership with the state of Texas. Please know that we deeply value and respect your friendship. Mr. Murasa, Mr. Hayakawa with the Kadon Ren, thank you as well for everything that you're doing to ensure that our private sectors connect, you can rest assured that the state of Texas is, is behind you all the way. Ladies and gentlemen, this week's summit serves as an excellent example of the strong relationship between Texas and Japan, one that goes back many years and promises to be even stronger in the future. I'm pleased to report that I have recently returned from a very successful trade mission to Japan in partnership with the San Antonio Economic Development Foundation, Brooks, Samco, and Port San Antonio, we traveled to Japan to visit old friends and make new ones. We identified many opportunities for collaboration with Japanese companies and trade organizations. But most importantly, our primary objective was to travel to Japan and show our business partners respect and a deep appreciation for their interest and investment in the Lone Star State. Thank you, Jenna Saucedo and Leo Gomez for your leadership. It was an excellent trade mission. You are part of the reason why San Antonio continues to be a great destination for investment and trade, and I appreciate all your good work. Now looking forward, I must say that I've never been more confident in the incredible work we can do together across multiple industries and sectors from manufacturing to energy, medicine, transportation, and security. Texas and Japan share a tremendous spirit of innovation, and in combining our talents, we can break ground on projects that are not only revolutionizing industry, government, and technology, but also create jobs for our talented workforces. We're proud to live in a state where Japan has created more jobs 
than any other foreign investor. And it's no secret why. We all know that Texas has an economic environment that encourages and supports business and entrepreneurship. For 14 years in a row, Chief Executive Magazine has named Texas the best state for business. And for the last consecutive six years, Site Selection Magazine has awarded Texas the Governor's Cup for being the best at business and job creation. But even though we are an extremely business-friendly state, we know that the driving force of our economy is our people. We have a world-class workforce, a talent pipeline unlike any other, one that is industrious, one that is reliable, and one that produces results. A perfect example of the mutually beneficial relationship between Texas and Japan is the relationship we have with Toyota. Toyota recognized the value of the Texas workforce in our business environment when it relocated its North American headquarters to Plano, as well as by installing manufacturing operations in San Antonio. And in doing so, it has created thousands of jobs for hardworking Texans, and for that, we are grateful. Toyota has also invested in our communities by partnering with local relief organizations to give back and help improve the quality of life in our great state, especially to those who sought relief after Hurricane Harvey. And for that, we are grateful. We're also grateful to the St. Bernard Project, a nonprofit protege of Toyota's Production System Support Center for helping rebuild our state after disaster struck our Gulf Coast this past year. And there are many more examples of how our relationship with Japan has benefited us in Texas. There are many other Japanese companies who similarly have helped Texas become the fastest growing economy in the U.S. And for that, we are very grateful. As Texas chief diplomat, it is my duty to ensure that our relationship with Japan stays strong and that we continue to collaborate in making Texas an ideal partner for Japan in commerce and in community. And as we continue to build these bridges, we must ensure that the Texas-Japan relationship continues to bring prosperity on both sides of our partnership. Again, I'd like to thank everyone for being here, and please keep in mind, with Japan, we are allies, we are business partners, but most importantly, we are best of friends. Thank you, arigato. At this time, I'd like to take a point of personal privilege, if I may. I'd like to ask uh, Jenna Salcedo uh, and Hiro Watanabe to please come up. I'd like to make a special presentation. As Secretary of State, I have the privilege of offering up a proclamation to Watanabe-san. And the pro proclamation reads, the State of Texas, the Office of Secretary of State, to all whom these presents shall come, greetings, know ye that Hiroyuki Watanabe is honored for five years of outstanding leadership as director of the Texas Japan Office on the occasion of this first Japan-Texas Economic Summit. Through his ongoing work, Mr. Watanabe has brought tremendous pride to the city of San Antonio and to the state of Texas. His unyielding commitment to strengthening and advancing commercial, diplomatic, and cultural relationships between Texas and Japan is to be commended. Congratulations, Hiro.